Good evening, everyone. Uh, tonight's reading is from John chapter 5, verses 39 to 47. First, uh, 39 says this, You study the scriptures diligently, because you think that in them you have eternal life. These are the very scriptures that testify about me. So Jesus here is speaking to the scribes and Pharisees, the Jewish leaders, and he says that you study the scriptures. That's a good thing to do. But you don't know them. You don't see them. And now with the advantage of being after Jesus, we read the scriptures in a new light and we see Jesus in all the Bible. There's a very famous book, Christ in All the Scriptures, that deals with this subject. But just for this evening, there are some ways we see the Lord Jesus pictured or prophesied about as we go through the scripture. In Genesis, we read about him as the ark that uh, saved those who entered into it from God's judgment. Jesus is the ark, so we can ask, are you in the ark or are you outside? Not the physical ark, but the ark of the Lord Jesus Christ. We see him in Exodus as the Passover lamb, the lamb that was slain. And so when the blood was applied to the doorposts, the angel of judgment passed over. He is the one whose blood is applied to our life, so we are not under God's judgment, but instead we have life. And we could go through the scriptures in this way. We see him in the Psalms. We see him in Isaiah as the suffering servant. We see him in the prophets as the hope of Israel. We see him revealed through the New Testament stories, obviously about him. All of scripture points to the Lord Jesus Christ. All scripture directs our thoughts to him. And so when we study the scriptures, we look for Christ in them. We, where is Jesus in this story? Where is there a picture of his grace and his mercy and his goodness? Where is there a, 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 a something that Jesus fulfills? Where is the prophecy about him? Where is the uh, Lord Jesus in the scripture? Let's pray together. Uh, Father, we thank you that you sent your living word among us and you gave us your written word, which shows us him. Lord, we pray that as we read your word, as we examine it, we may find the Lord Jesus in every part of it. We may read the scripture through Christ focused lenses and understand the scripture as the story of, P of the Lord Jesus himself and is coming among us. We pray, Lord, you will open our eyes to see as we read your word. In Jesus' name, amen.